Well, as I mentioned in a previous section of this video, I had to select the bulkheads that I wanted here. Uh, earlier I had determined, or I had said, that I thought that all of the bulkheads were on here, when in fact they are not. There is one in between each of these. This would be another one right here. So I'm going with every fourth one. You can see where I marked one here, and here, and here, and here, and I built a number in a little bit bigger size so I could see it. And as it goes, there was 20 some of these going from the stern to the bow. Even considering at the bow, some of these are canted at an angle a little bit. This is going like this. I only started at X. I haven't made copies of the body plan for these right here, right now. So I'm not sure how many I will actually need until I have all the rest of them on the ship. Or if I'm gonna make a solid block of like a balsa wood in here and carve it to fit rather than have individual bulkheads. And I'll make that decision when I get farther along, once I have X and T and a few others, and maybe all the others in, then I'll decide whether or not I want to slot bulkheads in here, or if I want to put a solid piece of wood in the lower part of the hull, and then um, maybe put um, timbers from there up here. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do it. Um, I can't remember from the last time I made this ship how I did it, but it'll probably come back to me. But for now, I'm just going to make the bulkhead. Okay. And this is the body plan that came out. I printed out 23 or 4 of these because I only wanted extras in case I miss cut. And it basically shows. First of all, what you're going to have to do is you're going to take your half to fold all of these in half, like this. And it's important that it is folded exactly in half along that center line. Because if you have a crooked fold, you're going to end up with a bulkhead that's crooked. And that also applies when you come to cutting the this out, cutting the bulkhead out, whichever one it is. I'm going to start on this side because I've done from the center all the way to the stern. So they're all cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these right here. The farther ones out here like this are really tiny and I have to use a high powered magnifying lenses consider make sure that I get the line separated so for the purposes of this one I'm just gonna cut like say oh let's see look at the plan here see which ones I need I need R T or V so I'll select one of those and on the back here we have in this scale it's so hard, so hard to see these right here so I'm going to go down here. Okay, I've determined that this one's X. So I can go from the plan with the tools I need. And X happens to be one that I need. So I'm going to go down to here. Make some marks. So as I cut, I don't lose track of that line. All right. Now if I found something here that you need to do, I'm gonna take some scratch tape and hold these together. At the top, along one side and at the bottom.
That's good enough. All right. And this is, should be pretty obvious, but you have paper scissors and put my glasses on. Cut there, and then basically just follow your line. Now, it's still important to keep a tight hold on this because the paper can slip. And while you're cutting this side right, if it slides one way or the other, you're not going to get a perfect on the other side. And if you're not checking for that, and you put this on there and you start to plank up, you know, you'll find out that, that a ball a can't this bad. So you have to turn your six right here. Turn it over and squeeze it tight and make sure that there's no over overlap. Okay, so that these are all, this is all even so that you know when you, over, when you put this down the keel and you get this cut out nice and straight, it's gonna be the same on both sides. I'm not gonna be a little bit less on this side because the paper slipped like, say, I can show you. It slips like this and you can see this little line, this little overlap here. That will happen if this slides around. Okay, that should do it for this part of cutting out the bulkheads out of the plans. All the patterns have been cut out. I don't have them all with me right now. But let me get to determine where you're going to make your slot. Like I made here. Right here. I chose this line to where to make the slot. And on the side elevation, that line is right here. So all the way across at that line, I'll be making my cut right there, all right, to here and up here, a little bit into the hull, up to there, and down along here, all the way down to the bottom of the false keel here, all the way across here. Up around here, up around to here, and up here, at this point right here, where these rails are, right here, to here. It comes down here, again, to that line, right? Now that's been cut, and I can pull this off, right here, just like that, right? I'll save this and I'll cut out these, right, the, the gun port doors for the main gun deck. Because I can put them against the side of the plank tall and use them as a semi guide as to where all of those go. And uh, except as to get to the bow, where the bow starts to angle a little bit, these will be. A little bit off so I can't use this template to put the last two on like you see here I'll have to come up with something else to determine where those two gun ports are going to end up so right now you see I have this right here I'll cut out right in the slot see right here this is for O right here fits right at the top of the rabbit and goes right to the stop right there so when you slide this down it's gonna sit on just like that okay now when you look at the side, side body plan, on this particular plan, and then this particular ship or model, down here, this keel measures about a quarter of an inch, which is 18 inches in this keel. And I'm going to be using 316 inch plywood. So 
So down here, it's a little thin, right? But up here, you can see the difference. It turns into 3 16 because the rabbit was cut in here and it made this bigger than up here. So what I do to make that rabbit is I'll take, say this is the bottom right here. That's the bottom of the false keel. Take a piece of 32nd inch stock that is this wide from the bottom of the false keel to the top of the rabbit. Now, so when you start your putting your planks in, right here, that becomes your rabbit for your bottom set of planks. And I'll run this all the way up, all the way up here, along here. You see this? This will be doubled, or no, not doubled, but it'll be a 32nd inch piece, or cheat, if you will. It'll go on here, and it'll go on the other side. So that will widen that keel to this 18 inches or a quarter inch in the scale that I'm using. Yep. Now, I can also save this part to use this as a pattern for the rudder. So I don't throw this away. This is going to get a lot of use later on. So I'll keep that. And then that should be enough to get me started. From this point on, it's going to take about a week now, I guess, to get my plywood from Maine to here in Arizona in Tucson where I live. So in the meantime, I'll be working on the New York rat lines. And when that piece, those plywood come here, I should have the rat lines done. And, and I'll uh, start cutting out the bulkheads for the Constitution slash United States.